Is this the Bitcoin Sunday market dump again? Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video I'll be talking about a potential Bitcoin Sunday market dump cycle. We have seen it before where when there's low liquidity, so when people are not trading, uh, it's easier to move the markets. We, we see it in forex markets quite a lot. It happened, it happened with the Japanese yen. Uh, fairly recently i got burnt uh, during that my stop loss order slipped and in bitcoin and cryptocurrency we've seen it where something happens on a saturday night going to sunday morning or during sunday where it crashes and um, it's happened a few times i will share a chart with you again it's not really conclusive just by looking at that but i'll take you through through it maybe i'll go into detail and go back a, a couple of months rather than just few few months and make another detailed video but i will be sharing with you that thought so guys let's get into the video so does uh, what what changes for bitcoin guys one thing I would like to uh, just say is that we're still above this level because we had moved quite a bit high up and I was expecting a fairly big pullback so I'm not again I wouldn't look to buy here uh, I don't think it, I'll be looking to buy here but potentially if it comes down to this level um, I could look to buy if it starts to move up but if it breaks below this level and starts you know price acceptance below this level then I'll then I'll be saying you know this was just probably an ABC and then we're going down because that was a 618 level and um, that was a big big resistance there was a buy or um buy setup in my strategy if you guys follow me you go down to the hourly or the four hourly that was a beautiful buy uh, in in our strategy that we follow in in this in this channel if you have any questions guys you can email me um at crypto at hotmail com um and if you really learned something from this video give us a subscribe and, t and and smash that like button it would really mean a lot to me um because i don't sell any courses all i provide is free content and i do provide mentoring but again i do a free 30 minute call and it's more about working together and sharing my experience than you know teaching because you have to learn yourself i can only guide you anyways guys that was i didn't take it because i've been like i said in my previous video i had a, I had a weekend away a lot of partying this weekend so i didn't didn't take that trade but if i did take it i would take i would have uh, bought it somewhere around here or at the break probably because you know it was a sideways consolidation rather than a than a flag that i like to like to prefer to buy and um, so maybe i would have bought it here the buy stop order it was a five minute to i'm, I'm sure it, I mean, if i go down to the shorter time for it must have been like a five minute pump so you to get in you'd need a you know you'd have to leave a st buy stop order there but yeah i would have probably started getting out here because that's key resistance i would have taken half of there and then when it broke here i would have taken another half of that's how how i would have traded it it wouldn't have been that profitable but it would have been a decent trade but yeah this is horrible guys and it's, it's disappointing because it is bearish i'm i'm looking for bullish signs because I'm trying to be a contrarian but that candle is a nasty nasty candle and it's closing at the lows as well the daily 20 moving average so I'm trying to be contrarian to say that you know they've just uh, caught all the orders that was there they captured all the liquidity move down and then maybe do like an ABC because you know it's usually three wave down and then move up again that's like my bullish argument so we'll see if that plays out and um, the other thing is it could be like an ABCDE triangle and then we break down um, again it's triangle if you look at Elliott wave triangle that's a potential bear formation that can be happening but we could potentially go up to these levels we've discussed in my previous video so why am I talking about Bitcoin guys because Bitcoin is king if Bitcoin crashes guys the old coins don't do very well let me just quickly show you um, the coin market cap where you can see most altcoins got a really really bad day five ten percent days they've they've gone down um there are a couple that are doing well komodo if you have been following me guys komodo is a coin that i have been looking at looking at it quite regularly guys if you watch this video or i've got it on this video as well komodo is doing well bnb is another coin that's doing okay but again when bitcoin's ontology guys i mean if you follow me i always talk about ontology these are the coins that move really well there are some opportunities to scalp in the altcoin section but when bitcoin's performing or dumps like that i don't like to really get into it but potentially or it could still be altcoin seasons if bitcoin can hold this level and move up so let's quickly go to the other big ones i'm not going to go through all the um old coins today guys i'm going to just 
talk through the key, uh, the main major coins, guys. I may be making an altcoin video uh, later on for um, Ethereum, guys. I said, you know, that was the resistance level that I was looking at. Looking at, and another thing I said was I, I, I would potentially look to start buying around this range, you know, 125 to 120 level. If it does drop back, and Ethereum's done the same thing. It, give us a freight breakout and that was a key key level guys if it broke and held above there that would have been a potential trend change because you know we had a lower high a higher low and trying to form a higher high so that would have been a really good situation for ethereum but again i'm just trying to talk about different scenarios we could potentially hit this level and start moving up we'll have to see how it plays out i might be out uh, ethereum is the one that i'm looking to play so i will be looking to buy ethereum around this level if it gives me the price action i want to see uh, strategy wise guys again i didn't take that trade but you can see what a perfect setup that is in our strategy that we follow in this channel uh, if you use the stochastics to get in as well however however you would have liked to trade it guys the, the, this would have given you few few decent opportunities guys even if you got in late it was a nice little move up but when this broke that green candle broke i would have got out i probably would have sold half there and sold half around when it broke that level so that's ethereum guys i will be looking to play keep that zone in mind litecoin guys i mean i've come up with a video saying there's been a trend change in in litecoin again i'm, I'm sticking by my videos I, I mean i'm not just saying i think this will happen I tried to explain to you my reasons behind it so Litecoin has broken that level it, it found support and broke above it again so I'm not looking to buy more Litecoin I've taken most of my profit out of here I, I didn't buy any more um, I, I still own some Litecoin and I will hold some Litecoin guys because I do like the price action if it breaks this level this is strong strong support I don't think it will break it might spike down but I don't think this will break um, this will be strong support for Litecoin XRP guys I'm not looking to trade XRP as you guys know xrp is in a sideways consolidation it could be in this correction for god knows how long unless it breaks out and gives me the price action i want i, I, will, I won't be looking to trade xrp xrp held this level uh, found support here and then moved up i mean if you're a, a trader a um, scalper you could have potentially bought that level expecting it to get some bounce reaction from it and um, yeah that would have been if you go on the smaller time frames that would have been a nice little couple of percent scalp opportunity i'd assume yeah you could have got two percent there so yeah there was a potential trading opportunity but we'll have to see how the price reacts guys i'm keeping a really close eye on bitcoin and ethereum the bounce isn't very good if it forms like a bear flag and then um, it does something like this it, it, then it, i won't be very positive on it but we'll have to see how it plays out. But I do think there will be maybe a small leg lower. But I'm expecting for this level to hold. These are just my thoughts, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But this nasty drop isn't very good. So, guys, that was the update on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and XRP. But one thing uh, I wanted to talk about this video is the cycle, guys. So, guys, if you see, these are just rough uh, bars that I've drawn. Um, I went on to the daily charts and then drawn it on the Sunday of every uh, every Sunday for the past three months and if we see guys this is the most recent one uh, you can see that bad dump guys just after we we moved into Sunday guys there's nothing that's happened here this small action that's happened here but nothing to be worried about you can see we had a small dump sort of here guys we had another one round about there there was a pump there so you know when there's low liquidity there's a pump and then we had a massive drop back so these are all kind of around the weekend sunday time thing and this this might not be exact but i've drawn it myself and never looked into it and then um, the the confluence doesn't seem to be as much as a, as as it seems to me because when i'm trading sunday dumps in crypto it has been quite regular people on are talking about it on reddit and twitter as well uh, this wasn't exactly on sunday but you can see the it, low liquidity times it dumped there was a bit of a spike here this year is different because you know we've been we can't call it an upward trend but we've seen some bullish price action you can see it here guys we're just going down going down badly that was a massive one it was that sunday as well wow you can see that big dump there i don't know if i carried on 
So that was another Sunday, guys. You can see that wasn't exactly on a Sunday, but you know, there's a dump. These are sideways consolidation. I've not gone far as far back. So could there be a potential Sunday dump in cryptocurrency market when there's low liquidity, these big whales, big players try to take money from us. So people that get in, they try to shake people out. So we'll have to see guys whether this is end of this bullish price action we've had and whether we're going to go go down or whether this is just a sh bad shakeout so to to get rid of all the weak hands because this market is ruthless guys they don't want anyone to make money they could literally be a shakeout to take all the stop losses that we had here before so if you bought that bought this consolidation zone you would have had your stop loss here they can take all your stop losses take all the profit from you and then move up could it that could be a possibility we'll have to see how the price action plays out and keep a close eye on it next week guys i am slightly busy i've got again like i said i've got a few uh, Skype calls to do through my for my YouTube and for my personal day-to-day -day work as well I'll be quite busy so I'll still try to keep you guys up to date but I've got two weeks well ne after next week two weeks I'll be full on doing crypto trading YouTube videos mentoring so if you have any questions email me guys I'll try and help you out through emails any questions about technical analysis if there's any old coins you want me to look at let me know in the comment section below or email me I'll try and help you out and what are your thoughts on this Bitcoin price action do you think there is a Sunday dump that happens in the cryptocurrency market when there's low liquidity when the traders are sleeping they dump the market could that be a possibility guys I'd love to hear your thoughts so thank you very much guys I hope you've enjoyed that video smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you want to win 200 and $50 worth of XRP. So thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, email me for mentoring, or if you have any questions about technical analysis, I'll try and help you out for free. So thank you very much, guys. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.